Okay, we are live on the air at Susie Health Solutions, Wenatchee Insurance, the full service enrollment center located in Wenatchee. Yeah, welcome to Suzilla. There's Matt. There's, there's Susie. There's Susie. Is your head shinier than usual? Uh, no, it's just closer shaved. You, um, you still have not rubbed it since I got the new blades. I, well, you made me rub it this weekend, but right. it wasn't, you know, you had, you know. That was old blades. This is new blades. No, no, you made me rub it after the, after. Wow, that's coming out really wrong. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, it just, you'd had a day's worth of growth, so was, you were slightly fuzzy. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It was okay. like Saturday, I think, or Sunday. Okay. Either way. So, yeah, new year, new me. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about, you know, head polish. I was wondering if you'd you know, been polishing your head. I have not. Because, you know, there's a whole, that's a whole thing. You know, mm -hmm. if, in case you've never actually taken a look at a picture of Matt, he's, he's bald. He shaves his head, so mm -hmm. he is. He has big, big, big floofy beard, and um, he shaves his head. Yeah, because that's the look he wants, and I think it's fine um, and dandy. And I love him, so it's sexy, and it's sexy because I love him, and it's just sexy. And this is sliding into something. Yeah, really that's, that's weird. Really fast. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, let's get back to business rather than personal. Yeah. So, so anyway, what brings us here today? We're a little late because I had to go do doctory stuff this morning. Well, that's part of part of the regiment of a, a new year is you go new do year, new you. Yeah, I got. Yeah, yours is when's yours due? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll have to look. Coming up. Yep, gotta get my checkup tomorrow. Did all the blood work this morning. Mm. Boy, I hate fasting blood work because mm -hmm. I get so grumpy pants. <laughs> I think I held it. I think I held it together relatively yeah, well. Yeah, but it's it's important to do that instead of you know waiting for something to creep up and yeah, bite you in the butt. Mm -hmm. um, it's better to be proactive than reactive when it comes to your health. Yeah, and we really saw that theme in this in this point of time between the the calendar new year and the lunar new year. Mm -hmm. You see all the changes and all the things that people have prepared for. Uh, it's, it's one of those goofy things because we've, we had a lot of, you know, last minute people purchasing healthcare. We were very last, we had some very last minute people. We had one last minute, we had one last minute person that waited till 937 on the last day of enroll, very last day mm -hmm. of, en of the enrollment bonus month. And PM, PM. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we enrolled them at my house. Yes. <laughs> we, we see that in a, there's, there's this procrastination of, of of doing that because people hate that particular aspect. Yeah, this is not a loved part of the process. People would much well, rather just let things roll over and roll over and roll well, over. Well, I think there's a, I think there's a cultural thing. <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, I've had conversations with some of the other people on on um, on you know insurance companies making changing your insurance difficult so yeah. that you won't shop. Yeah, we've run into that. We're seeing that with, with the whole growth of Wenatchee Insurance and the property mm -hmm. is, and, and shopping our car insurance ourselves, mm -hmm. is one thing Matt discovered. And it, it, someone pointed out to him and then and he said, oh yeah, that's what's going on, uh, was that getting the new policy can be doing the shopping, setting up the new policy, all that kind of stuff can be Daunting, complicated, and annoying. Yeah. So by making it daunting, complicated, and annoying, once you're in it, you don't want to do that again. Yeah, you 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 want to you know, kind of not do it because yeah. it, it becomes unpleasant. Fine, I'll just pay the bill and it's like yeah. whatever. Oh, they raise my rates. Oh, whatever. Just it's not a big deal. And and, and they and they do that weird creep, that turtle creep. And they do creep with with price, and it's, it's because you. They don't want the, they don't want you shopping. It's the or, boiling frog thing. Or if you do shop, uh -huh. they they inject speed to trim out you know bad policies. There's there's because if you think about it, if you're getting something done quick, it mm -hmm. might not be the best thing. Yes. Um, because we 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 go in depth and we ask a lot of questions, mm -hmm. you know, and. It, it's like, okay, uh, you know, how many miles do you drive to work? You know, what's the range of your vehicle? And we're, we're asking a couple of commercial ones in that. It's it like, what's the largest city you go in? It's because they, they want to see that. Mm -hmm. um, and it was interesting because the, one of the questions I had come back um, was, am I enrolling? 
in insurance. And, and it's like, no, because uh, I, I needed a signature for something. Yeah. For, for, for a particular form. It's like, no, this is, this is, we're in the information gathering phase. Oh, gotcha. And this, your signature here attests that what you're saying is true. Yeah. And that you're, you're, you're in, in, in serious about shopping. You're not wasting their time. Gotcha. So that signature is kind of a twofold thing. Mm-hmm. Be, and it, it's, it's that, it's that important step for the information gathering. Mm-hmm. And the only way that you're signing up for insurance mm-hmm. is there has to be an offer made. Yes. The offer has not been made. Right. Uh, and, and the point when the offer is made, the, the signature is required for a, a, what they call acceptance. Mm-hmm. And another aspect of it is there's a binding payment. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, now this is one of the interesting things about some ins- some mm-hmm. health insurance is um, Medigap plans are a particular for this yeah. one. Is you when you f- sign up for a Medicare advan- a Medicare supplement plan, mm-hmm. a Medigap plan, you go through the application process. You sign, 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 sign. You yeah. do your part, and you and you set up the binding payment. You yeah. don't necessarily you set up a form of payment. Yeah. Which is not a guarantee of acceptance. Mm-hmm. And then that's one of the things they literally say in the contract. Because sometimes the policies have to be underwritten with Medigap plans. Yeah. They have to do the health and health questions. Mm-hmm. And if you don't qualify for one mm-hmm. reason or another, they'll just give you your money back. Yeah. You know, because you because their side didn't accept it. Mm-hmm. You might have said, yes, please. And they said, no, thank you. And it doesn't matter if you've given them money or not. Yeah, and the, the the important thing is with because insurance is so law driven. Yes, lots of laws. They're required by law to give you that money back. Mm-hmm. The exception, and this this is one of the exceptions. You should see his hands. Is, uh, is on the <laughs> is on the surplus lines for for commercial insurance. Okay. Um, some companies will require you to retain that twenty five percent and all their fees. Okay, that yeah. I guess that and they, it's, 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 it's how the, the policy, and that is, that is one of those things that is stated at the onset. Yeah, it's part of the, it's part of the um, letter of intent. Mm-hmm. And additionally, you know, like your, your typical homeowners and auto plot, they can be canceled at any time. Yes. By the customer. Yes. Not the insurance company, the customer. The insurance company has to have very specific reasons why they would, um, it's it's not cancel, but they would non-renew. Non-renew. That's their form of canceling is like, okay, you're, that's why they do six months, six months mm-hmm. renewals for autos, because that gives them the opportunity to go, we don't want to work with you anymore. Yeah. In I'm, a faster move than at 12 month renewals. Well, the non, non-renews are used, used for a little bit different thing. Um, okay. Usually, usually, yeah, is is, is an unacceptable risk. We're seeing more of those uh, because, as some of the professionals put it, this is the worst insurance market in forty years for property. Okay. Uh, because there's there's lar- large claims. Mm-hmm. Um, there there are different companies that are wanting to change who who they're attracted to and, and who they want in their book. Okay, um, so they're starting to to, to um, cherry pick their preferred customers. Well, no, there 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 are, there are there's a wide range of insurance companies out there. Oh yeah, a huge range. And most people don't understand that. It's like yeah, um, uh, I'm I'm gonna sound like I'm picking on, but I'm not really picking on uh, because I they, they have a great place in the marketplace. Uh, National General mm-hmm. and uh, like Montgomery. They exist for a reason. They exist for a particular niche in the market segment. Right. Our local, um, that's the um, uh, high risk? It's, 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 yeah, it's considered a higher risk. Uh, they might not have insurance before. Yeah. The, we don't, the, that particular company doesn't want, uh, some of those companies don't want, you know, more than 100000 in liability coverage. Because they don't want large, large payouts, they're they're designed for a certain marketplace. People who um, are just starting, just buying their very first car insurance policy, or and or or have 
um, a wobbly credit history, mm -hmm. you know, but they still want and or mm -hmm. need insurance. So they have companies um, that offer their a niche market specifically. For, it's, is it, it, is it, it, it's 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 what their appetites for. They 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 like that customer. That's the customer does well. There are others that want the customers with the, you know, the, the, the two to three cars, the half a million dollar home, the umbrella coverage, mm -hmm. um, you know, over 50, no, no, no youth drivers. And that's their preferred marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, what we did is we turned around and we said, okay, yeah, we, we have a wide selection of, of, you know, virtual rainbow of different clients in our area we want to be able to take care of each of them in a different way. Right. We want to be able to, to pick the plan that works for every, pick the plan that works for you from our variety of choices. So what we do is we, we, we let the computer do some of that heavy lifting uh -huh. and we use a, a, a aggregator type program mm -hmm. that we plug in a base number and they'll tell us, oh, this carrier has is, is got good rates for 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 this situation for this situation mm -hmm. um and and we've got you know five six that, that go through that way mm -hmm. from there we take that and it's like okay let's 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 go and get a direct quote from the company right to see where they're at and it goes straight to the horse's mouth um because they're, they're little subtle changes oh yes um but that usually gives us a, a position to offer something that, that has been sort you know put in sifted a couple times and and comes out with with a a good fair price policy so what i'm seeing i'm making an mm -hmm. analogy to health because i don't do the property stuff it's kind of like okay so i use an aggregator i use an exchange yeah. to show what different plans i've got available for individual health care and, and life and life um and i could even do that for for medicare mm -hmm. in some situations yeah but I, what I do is I'm the filter mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Um, I plug in the information mm -hmm. and then we see the different products available and the prices, mm -hmm. the different benefits I have to sort through personally. Yeah, we, we, we're in the, we're in the, we're, it's very similar uh, on the property side of things. Right. And then one of the things I do that some of the automated stuff does is I go through things like drug formularies and provider networks to mm -hmm. make sure it's the right fit. And that's more of a manual task for me. Oh. Although there is the smart plan finder. The the manual side of things is uh -huh. is, is, is when we're sitting down with a client. Yeah. And we're we're sorting through it's like, oh well let's see let's let's bump this liability yeah. from a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand and see what it does. Oh right, right, right. When you're tweaking the, the coverages um, to see what that does to the price. How much, you know, and I kind of do the, one of the questions I have is what will your budget bear? <laughs> yeah. The, the question I use is, is, is what do you want the insurance company to pay? What, what do you want to pay out of your pocket before the insurance company? Your deductible, for in. example, your deductible kicks in, uh, glass coverage is an excellent one. Okay. We, we had that come out. It's like, cause you, there are companies that you've got, a. Uh, extra coverage for glass because we have rock things because rocks on roads. Right. Um, and, and so, yeah, we get that very, you know, we have to get very detailed in understanding of policies mm -hmm. and how they impact clients. Right. And it's very, and that's where having a broker go over these with you is really valuable because we know some of those shading shadings and subtleties that, are not always easy to spot when you're shopping, um, just poking things around on the computer. Yeah, it's... It, uh, and not to be fair, a lot of people can mm -hmm. figure this out, but they're, like I said, they're shadings. It's small changes that you don't realize would be valuable because you don't know. Well, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's not your job to know, it's your job to shop. Exactly. And and it's we, our are job. In, we are in a consumer... It's like, yeah. let's, let's be honest, we're, we're in a consumer environment. Uh -huh. Um, that's what drives drives all the marketplaces, um, and you want someone to assist you to help. It's it's a well, pretty, yeah. it's a pretty woman situation. <laughs> yes, you, you need to be able to walk in the shop and feel like you are important and you are valued, and they are to heap 
goodness upon you. Yes, absolutely. And that's one of the things we try to provide here. And, and I, I think we do a pretty good job because there are a lot of people that, that just stare at the posters in our office. <laughs> um, because we, we make it something that is an event. We make it fun. We don't make it like a DMV. Yeah. Where it's stripped down and devoid of all humanity. And little cubicles. Yeah, and it's, it's really important in all shopping environments that you do that. You make it special and you own the space. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you run a small business, how are you owning your space? Mm-hmm. It, it can't be just about the bottom line. You can't buy just the cheapest printer because that printer's got to last for three years. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't pick out the cheapest paper for your flyers or the, every consumer that picks it up will, you know, will th- put it down because it's icky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I run into that. But we most, wanted to, it, it's, it's, it's looking for those mm-hmm. subtle touches to make, a, to make the, the, the space welcoming Yeah, and fun. You yeah. know, you, you, we give people stuff. And there are a hundred Little things that you can do along this year mm-hmm. that makes the next year better. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, yes, you're gonna, you should be looking at insurance cards at this point. That's just a given. If you're not looking at insur- new insurance cards this, at this point, yeah, you need to be talking to someone because they're 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 slow on the draw. Particularly if you, if you signed up, you know, back in November. Um, the other. We mm-hmm. know that the mail is going horribly slow. Yeah, sadly. Because yesterday I, I worked with someone for a 1095 form. Because mm-hmm. uh, that's one of the things we, we, we are able to, to look and print out and, and get to our clients, um, our 1095s. Those went out all, over two weeks ago. They did? Yeah, it was like the 12th. They were mailed. Well, no, they, they were... It became accessible. They became accessible on the health plan finder and if they're on, accessible on the health plan finder they're in the mail they should have hit the mail string right it's it's like the it's like social security you get the you get the acceptance letter for your social mm-hmm. security and they send the cards out at the same time uh, but the cards always take longer <laughs> yeah and it really depends on are the are the are the mail houses set up to succeed mm-hmm. i don't know if they are because i'm i'm not running that distribution nope um, don't want to yeah, I've I've done that stuff in the past. It's it's wild. It's it's fun. it's woolly. Yeah, it's 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 wild. Um, woolly. Um, but you can you can kind of tell because there there are there are some systems that are built to succeed, mm-hmm. and and because they've been prepared for, mm-hmm. and there are others that are just tripping all over themselves. <laughs> That's true. And we, we've seen that this year with the billing. So Ugh. so we apologize on some of the ones. We're working through it. We've had multiple warnings oh on my portals. God. Well, here's the thing. We're, we're fighting billing on a ton of fronts right now. Mm-hmm. We haven't had this level of screw-uppery mm-hmm. in years. They had this down. Mm-hmm. You know, they were going bam, 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 bam the last three years. Something went terribly, terribly wrong this year. It's it it, it goes down to preparation. <laughs> they're they're running an adequate model. They want to be just adequate. They don't want to, to ramp up their IT department and and you know be geared up for you know World of Warcraft. Peak levels. So you think it's just the increase in enrollments that did yeah. this? Some of it's the increase in um, enrollments. That can't. If they had processes in place to handle the volume they've had, then what's the problem with the volume they've got? Uh, I will. I will give you an example. Um, I, I don't know enough about the back end of the, the databases. Mm-hmm. Um, this is this is me twenty five years ago when I was working databases. Yes. We we used a batch process. Um, yeah. Uh, B tree files. And there was a limitation of 5,000 entries. Oh. 
so that might be the slowdown. So you, if the limitations, if they can only do X number per day. Well, it's not X number. That was the size of the file that could be uploaded into that particular database at one time. So if you've got a system like the exchange that's saying, hey, here's 10,000 updates. That's two, two processes. It jams up the other end. I so if that's what's happening. It's a possibility. Which means they haven't updated their their, their systems in a while. Well, yeah. Well, no, because we know that one of the companies did a whole big fat no, 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 no. Update is different than adequately updated. Uh, That's why I use so what the word. Got, okay, so what you've got what you're in. I got it. So what you're running into is it's adequate for most of the year, but not for this time of the year. Correct. Uh -huh. You 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 need you need flexibility in your systems that you're able to rev accordingly. And that's uh, not good, what's happening. A good example, and we, we saw that as, you know as kids growing up, you plug in ten appliances and you turn on the microwave and everything goes black. Well, I was no, I was thinking about that the other day. I was watching TV and our son was in the bathroom mm -hmm. and he turned on the hair dryer. And I just had this memory flash of when you used to be you turn on the hair dryer and the you get squiggly lines across the TV. Yeah. That doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Because it doesn't. Yeah. You got surge protectors and 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 it's 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 it's, it's improved since well, the then. TVs have improved. Mm -hmm. the, I can't say the electronic system in our places have improved because mm -hmm. it's a you know a sixty year old house. Yeah. But um, just the appliances have improved. Yeah, but we've also got surge protectors. Oh, got. that's a huge thing. Yeah, that's a huge that that is a thing, um, and that's that's you know that's simple little steps along the way that you make today improve tomorrow. Yeah, and, and that's because we're 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 working with we we got our you know we made steps all along last year so that we were ready. When open enrollment opened its gates, it was like drinking from a fire hose. Oh my God, it was. <laughs> and it most truly, people, truly was. Most people don't understand that. It's like, yeah, little steps along the way. Every step of the way, it was like, oh yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're doing this. And you, we produced some unbelievable results. We really did. The fire hose may have been blowing, blasting uh -huh. at us, but we managed it. Yeah, it, it was manageable. Um, and that's what we're, that's what we're, what we're doing today is we're we're taking steps because there are there's another fire hose that is presented and that is the Apple Health Unwinding. Yes, and that is going to be a big fire hose. Okay, so to summarize what the Apple uh -huh. Health Unwinding is, um, over we've had this public health crisis going mm -hmm. on because of COVID, right? And a lot of people have stayed on Washington State Medicaid Apple Health, um, regardless of their income. Yeah, so they haven't kicked anyone off. Well, yeah, you don't want people during a medical emergency to be kicked, kicked off, off their health healthcare. insurance, right? So no one's been kicked off over the last couple, of, almost three years now. Uh, since March of 2020, this was when it, when the first. So nearly three years. Yeah. Starting in April, the um, the healthcare authority. Thank you. Is going to start cycling they're going to start doing the audits again mm -hmm. if at if, at your renewal period if your renewal starts if you have a renewal period coming up in say may you're you, you're scheduled to renew in may they're going to do the please mm -hmm. provide you know please provide proof of income yeah and what they're going to do is they're going to if you still qualify because your income is low enough mm -hmm. Great, you stay where you're at. If your income is, exceeds the threshold for your family size, congratulations, you now qualify for a qualified health plan. Mm -hmm. That is the unwinding. You are not that that free run we've had for the last three years is over. Yes. So it is possible that you will end up on a qualified health plan, which you may have been on before. You may have been on an employer plan and then got laid off and ended up on Apple Health and went and started your own business. And now it's time to shop again. That's why we're here. Yep. And we are getting, we are starting to ramp up and start laying groundwork to make sure that everybody that has Apple Health knows what's going on. And, 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 and the healthcare authority mm -hmm. is going to be just hammering, hammering you with notifications. And we, we, we actually started 
they started notifying it me last year. Mm -hmm. And that was when we did our first proposal. Yeah. For, for what we're going to do. We, we got a, a, we had a meeting yesterday uh, with a, kind of a question, okay, back and forth with, with the health plan, with the health plan finder of, you know, different aspects that we can do. Um, and we're going to make steps along the way um, to get that outreach out there mm -hmm. and assist as many people as we can understand what they have. Yes. And if their situation has changed, mm -hmm. help assist them along the way. Yeah. Take them, be there to guide and lend a hand for every step that needs mm -hmm. to be taken, whether it's working through the renewal process, making sure your information's updated, updating the forms. We do that. We will help mm -hmm. you submit your, 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 um, income information. We're, we're set up for that. Yeah. Um, some people are not, some people, you know, they don't have computers or even smartphones that can upload stuff. Um, yeah. we do. We'll help you with that. Yeah. We've got, I got, a, I got a scanner. I've more than once I've thrown documents on the, on the scanner and uploaded them into a client's account. Yeah. It's really seriously never been an issue. We've always done mm -hmm. that since day one. We'll help you with that. We'll help, you know, we will, if need be open, you know, have questions and requests to the healthcare authority. Um, we are there to make your life just that much easier with this process. Yeah. You know, one of the, one of the things we, we walk through is, is, because we're we're about making it easier, making uh -huh. it uh, uncomplicate things. I always have been. Um, you know, we we Susie was you know came home, started dinner, and one of the things she she helped someone assist was understanding their ten ninety five form. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's important because that brings us to the next thing that that everyone has to do with this system, regardless of how much you made, is if you're participating in it, you need to file your taxes. Yes. I don't make enough to file taxes. File a tax. Uh, okay, here's here's the here's the thing, and it it says so in the IRS code. Yes, it does. If you qualify for tax credits, or if you want those benefits, you are required, required. by the IRS mm -hmm. to file your taxes because that's how they do the reconciliations. Yes. They look at your taxes, mm -hmm. your tax return, and they say, "Okay, this is what you this is what you actually earned. This is what you've declared," and they reconcile them. Yep. And you want them to be pretty close to each other. And you want to file on time. And you want to file on time. Um, we do run into people who file for extensions and don't file till like October or November of the coming year, and it's like, "Okay, well, no wonder you're not getting tax credits. You didn't file your taxes yet." Yeah, you gotta you gotta do it in a timely manner because you can't. They cannot assess mm -hmm. whether or not your tax credits are accurate if they don't know what your income is, mm -hmm. and they you can attest it till the cows come home. The IRS is the one who's the final arbiter. Yeah, and it's not as if they've got uh, you know. 40,000 agents lying around doing nothing. No. Um, they've, they've been undercut for years. Um, so they're, they're really, you know, limited in what they can do and how fast they can move. Mm -hmm. So make it easier for them. So make it easier. You go early. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Part of American life is filing taxes. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very important because it keeps the country, it keeps the country going. That's what builds our, that's what, that's why you have mm -hmm. bridges and roads and electricity mm -hmm. and phone systems. So yeah, take, take little steps like that to, you know, make it through immediate, mm -hmm. you know, and, and immediate well being and peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And then take the, take and those little immediate, Hey, these are good. You know, some people laugh and call it adulting. Yeah. Uh, but if you if you move through those quickly and turn and turn around, uh, it makes the next year even better. Mm -hmm. I just every step you take will make it easier down the road. And we're here to help. And just just to be 100 percent clear, mm -hmm. we're not going to charge you anything to do it. Yeah. Straight up. We get commissions from the insurance companies. That's how we keep our lights on. 
Yeah, it's, it's we a, ask the people who have the money to give us money, not the you. Not you. And that then sometimes we have to, you know, shake them down and say, okay, yeah, you missed paying us. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's part of the part of our deal. Mm -hmm. Um right now that's going on, and this is this is one of the things. Last couple of years we've seen the great resignation. Yeah. Well, right now what's going on is the small business boom. Yes. And some of my more conservative folks are like, oh, there's a small business boom. It's like, yeah, it's from the great resignation. Most people went out and started their own dreams. Mm -hmm. um, and and it, yes, it's exciting. The, the question is, is how long will it last? Because one of the major mm -hmm. concerns to fuel that small business boom was from the American Rescue Plan. Yep. And fortunately, the... Inflation Reduction Act carried on some of those things. Yes. Uh, namely, the, the advanced premium tax credits. Right. Now, that's only got, after this year, it's got one more guaranteed year. No, two. two more? Yeah, it's three years. Oh, okay. So two more guaranteed yeah. years. We need that to continue. And, and you know, that, that includes like the CHIP program. Mm -hmm. So there, there are things that, you, that you, you can advocate for on a continual basis. And, you know, one of them is, is you know, locking in and improving health care. Mm -hmm. on the individual market because Absolutely. that helps small business that that's right. helps your main street that's right and so yes the affordable care act helps small businesses so if you're a proponent of, of, of small businesses uh, you want the affordable care act to work yeah yeah and it brings to the question if you're wailing against the you know things like the american rescue plan and the inflation reduction act or what your really your end goal is yeah, think about that. All right, that's a good note to land on. So, hey, have a great day. Remember, it's a new year, so a new me. <laughs> little steps. Baby. Little steps will, will really make a difference in your life, not just immediately, overall. but overall. That's right. All right, take it easy, man. Enjoy your Thursday. Yes. Bye-bye for now. Bye.